7 Warning Signs You Have Blocked Arteries Bad circulation in and of itself is never good, however, it could mean that you have blocked arteries. Having a blocked artery can kill you. This is why it's important to know the signs so you can catch this in time. Almost in all cases, poor circulation means you are in poor health and you need to go see your doctor. It could mean anything ranging from low blood pressure to heart problems to diabetes. What are some other things that may cause bad circulation? Smoking. Sitting too much. Eating fast food, a lot. Obesity. Why is good circulation important? Every organ in your body depends on your free-flowing blood to receive the vital nutrients needed to function. Even if we slow down this process it can damage important organs like the brain and heart. Think of a traffic jam on the 405 in Los Angeles for instance. When this happens, there is zero productivity happening, no one is getting anything done let's pretend iPhones don't exist for a minute or delivering goods to areas that need it. In order for the city and surrounding areas to stay alive, we need traffic to flow. Chronically tired? Cramping up? Pain in your legs? This could be signs that you have peripheral artery disease. Here is the scary part, physicians frequently fail to detect peripheral artery disease because the symptoms look like so many other health issues, according to the American Heart Association. And make no mistake, PAD can be very serious so it's important to take matters into your own hands to help the doctor accurately see the problem. So, what exactly is PAD? This occurs when plaque builds up in the arteries, a condition known as atherosclerosis. Over the years, this plaque can harden and constrict the arteries, essentially slowly choking your body. PAD normally affects the arteries in the legs. Symptoms. Leg pain and cramping. Numbness in legs. Slower than normal healing. Loss of hair on the legs. Shiny skin. Keep in mind that none of the above symptoms may occur or be as noticeable, so it's best to put your attention towards preventive care measures. Prevention and treatment. Here are our top three suggestions. Increasing physical activity. Eating a plant-based diet. Quitting smoking and drinking alcohol. Diet-wise, consider eating more ginger put it in your smoothies and garlic. Vitamin E is particularly good for circulation, so nuts like almonds, Brazil nuts, and sunflower seeds. Also, you can't go wrong with getting more antioxidants vitamins C, D, and E, beta-carotene, and selenium. This means hit your local farmer's market and stock up on organic fruits and veggie.